One of the concerns with the mixing pump is am I getting the exact amount of water that I need for my self-leveling material? We all know that the material goes in here dry, mixes with the prescribed amount of water in the mixing chamber, pumps through a rotor stator out to our area of placement. So the MP20 is designed to pump at 100 bags an hour. It's not going to be exactly 100 bags an hour. It's going to be anywhere from 80 to 120, depending on the material. All materials are a little bit different. But we're going to set it up to be at 100 bags an hour. And how do we do that? We take the quarts per bag times our 100 bags an hour divided by 240. That's going to give us gallons per minute. Then we're going to adjust our gallons per minute before we start pumping on our gauge here. So now we have an approximate. So now we have the pump set up, but we're not going to start mixing yet. We're going to take a couple five gallon buckets and in one of them, we're going to put the exact amount of water for a bag of material that we want, our target range of water in the bucket. And we're going to mix one bucket with one bag. We're doing that for two reasons. One, we want to see what this mud looks like before it goes on the floor. That's our target mud. And number two, we want to see how much one bag fills into a bucket. So after we mix that bucket, we can do a slump test with this if, we, if the product requires it, or we can simply just pour it out on the floor. We're going to just take this bucket of material, we're going to pour it out on the floor, and we're going to watch its characteristics on the floor, because that's what we're targeting for. Before we did that, though, we want to measure from the top of the bucket down to the top of the material to know how full a bucket is with one bag. Then we're going to take our clean bucket, and we're going to put the same mark inside the clean bucket. Now we're going to turn our pump on and simply start mixing. We're going to start pumping on the floor. So we get the pump going at 100, we assume it's going to be around 100 bags an hour, and now we're pumping on the floor. Once we get pumping good and get a good consistent material, we're going to take this empty bucket and we're going to time how long it takes for one bag of material. Okay, so then we're going to take that number, approximately 30 seconds, and we're going to uh, divide that into 3,600, and that's going to give us our exact bags per hour. So if it's about 30 seconds into 3,600, that's 120 bags an hour. Well, we adjusted it for 100 bags an hour, so we need to add a little more water to get to our target. So what we're going to do is we're going to slowly add water to get to our 120 bags per hour. So now we can check the consistency of the mud. Does it match? Yes, it matches. And it's very, very accurate to get your mud water content dialed in.